I couldn't. I, I personally don't believe that um, all the supply base for the automotive industry will will um, survive. I, I believe some of it will. For the companies that have um, prepared early and started to look in different areas, um, could more than likely survive. Um, there's some really good skills in the auto industry, and moving those auto skills into new evolving industries where it may not necessarily be manufacturing, but it could be in engineering and project management and, and development of technology. Australia out of the automotive industry has been known to be able to develop new cars, um, develop new cars, be able to launch a new vehicle for a lot cheaper than what any, anywhere else in the world could actually do. So Australia is known to actually be doing things on the smell of an oily rag. So taking that and moving into different areas with the type of culture and people that we have with a can-do attitude, um, uh, it may not necessarily be in manufacturing, but I do believe it'll be somewhere. I don't, I don't believe though that those skills will actually be lost because um, they're skills that are recognised around the world. More than likely, I'd say a lot of those core skills and stuff would be headhunted and taken back offshore, you know. Um, diversifying your business doesn't happen overnight. It, it's a, a long strategic um, commitment you've got to make. And uh, to trying to, to break into like the new sectors like defence, uh, which we've successfully broken into, or in rail, we, um, the defence, breaking into the defence sector had actually taken us a long time. And we've had to invest a lot of money and a lot of people over that time to actually make the breakthrough. Um, so um, diversification doesn't happen overnight. It, it, need, it, you know, it needs time, it needs money, and um, you need to prepare yourself for, 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 for that transition.